Women Heart is the only national patient-centered advocacy organization solely serving the 48 million American women living with or at risk for heart disease. Improving access to health care is on everyone's mind. I have survived three heart attacks, two strokes, three open heart surgeries, numerous other heart-related issues and procedures. I recognize the privilege that it is to still be in the land of the living. Women heart is so important. It gives voice to the collective masses so that not another woman has to fight for health care from a hospital bed. So I think we're at a critical juncture now because we've expanded coverage for women who are at risk for heart disease. So typically the Medicare population that is not um, above, slightly above the poverty level, we're looking at Medicaid expansion, which has significantly improved access of care for women who are at the highest risk, people with multiple chronic conditions. And now with the political climate the way it is, that could be pulled back. So I'm very concerned we're gonna have a lot of women who have gotten some good preventive care who are now going to be without any health care at all. We had about 480 women in our online survey who actually went through and completed it and met all of our requirements. Medication and cardiac rehab were the most commonly mentioned issues. That was in our focus groups, it was in the online survey. That's what people can't get. 50% of those who responded to this question said that they had difficulty accessing medications. Over a quarter of our respondents said they had skipped or delayed treatment in order to lower their out-of-pocket costs. Now, if you're sick, if you need medication, or you need some other kind of treatment, and you don't do it, there are obviously serious implications. What it represented to us was a palpable fear in these women, even the ones who were doing well. What is going to happen? What if my health care goes away? What if I can't keep getting what I get now? What if it's going to cost me more? They're all right on the edge. And the fear was unbelievable. And you could just feel it in the room. What we need to be so much better about is seeing people before. And the only way you can do that is with routine access to health care by doctors who understand us, who look like us, with, and following studies that represent us. We need to be not just you know, understanding the issues, but really pushing for change and to insist that we continue to make progress and do not take steps back. I was really surprised to find out the lack of studies on women, that all of these studies are on men, but yet we're dying from heart disease more often than men. You know, we're more likely to die the first time we have that heart attack because nobody knows what to do for us. I think it's really great um, that Congresswoman uh, Debbie Dingell is standing up for us and really is giving us as heart patients a voice. We can, once and for all, make sure that if a woman has heart disease, she's going to recognize it, she can treat it, and we can keep her alive. Having somebody like that in your corner is really beneficial. We don't just want good health care. What we really want is to be able to live to our potentials. And when somebody is denied health care, or we get it too late, or it's too little and too late, and then you see somebody who had such potential, and now they are just surviving. We don't want to just survive, we want to live. I believe that we can transform the outcomes for women with heart disease by working together to make sure there are policies in place so that women have access to quality, affordable care. That's why it's so important that you're here, because we need to make sure that women are being included in the research, and we need to be educating women, and we need to make sure that women have access to the health care that they need.